Okay, so now I'm going to back up and give you two analogies that are going to lead me to that answer. First analogy, high-level gymnast who has been active in gymnastics since she was age six and all the way through her Olympic career at age, let's say, 26. How proficient is that person's balance going to be when she turns 56? Do you think that person's balance is going to be better than someone else who didn't have a high level athletic career that depended on balance, who's also 56? Maybe her twin sister that didn't do all those things and they have the same genetics. All right, if you believe that, then you know that you can build what's called a redundancy, right? So you can build a reserve so that if any process, in this example, I'm talking about aging, but in any process, including a stroke takes something away from you, you have neuropathy, you have Parkinson's disease, the higher level that you start your water table, the longer it takes before you get to drought. All right, so that's the gymnast. Now I'm gonna make it even more specific and get toward Parkinson's disease. Think about Alzheimer's disease, a very related condition with regard to degeneration, um, plaque development, amyloid, et cetera. What if I was a Harvard professor for 51 years from age 31 to age 82, and I suddenly began to have some mild cognitive impairment and was later diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease? If I was well-educated, maybe even multilingual, a professor, instructor uh, for 31 years, again, my level of redundancy, if I'm going to erode down with a condition such as Alzheimer's, it's actually going to be a higher level, harder to detect, later detected in life, and it's probably not going to impair my function because I had so much of a redundancy. Now you already see the analogy of where I'm going with Parkinson's disease, right? You want to go to see a physical therapist so that even though you're high level right now, you want to invest. You think about the bank account. Is it going to be easier for me to invest in strength training right now when I'm 72 and I don't have many symptoms of Parkinson's disease so that I have redundancy reserve in the bank? So strength training, which is different than power training, which is different than high speed reaction training, which is different than dual task training, which is different than high speed walking. So you could work on those five facets of fitness now and actually benefit from the return on investment easier than investing just before you get to withdraw some of those things. I need them from the bank.